Heroes and History, The First Transcontinental Railroad, read to you by Carol Brigham. The Gold Rush. In 1849, someone discovered gold in California. Suddenly, thousands of Americans and people in Europe wanted to go to California. People with money sailed by ship down the east coast of the U.S. to Panama. They took a train across Panama. Then they waited for a ship to take them up the west coast to California. The trip took many months. Other people bought oxen and went across the U.S. by land in wagons. This way was even slower. The trip took five to eight months. It was very dangerous. Two Railroad Companies In the 1860s, there were already many railroads in the eastern part of the U.S. Congress wanted to build a transcontinental railroad so people could travel from the eastern U.S. all the way to California. Congress chose two different companies to build the railroad. The Central Pacific Railroad Company started in Sacramento, California. This company built tracks going east. The Union Pacific Railroad Company started in Omaha, Nebraska. This company built tracks going west. The government gave 10 or more square miles of land to the railroad companies for every mile of railroad track they built. Working on the railroad. Building railroads was very hard work. Each rail weighed 700 pounds. It took five men to lift one rail. The Union Pacific Company hired former slaves and former soldiers. They hired immigrants from Ireland, Mexico, Germany, and England. Many Indian tribes lived on the plains. They did not want the railroad to go through their lands. They attacked the workers. The government sent 5,000 soldiers to protect the railroad builders. In California, most of the Central Pacific Company's workers quit when they got to the Sierra Nevada. They wanted to look for silver and gold. They hoped they could get rich. Workers from China In 1865, the Central Pacific hired 50 Chinese workers. The Chinese were very hard workers. Soon, the owners of the Central Pacific asked for more Chinese workers. Thousands more Chinese workers came from China to build the railroad. The company paid them $27 per month at first. Later, the company paid them $30 per month. The Chinese work gangs were very clean and healthy. They did not drink alcohol. They boiled their drinking water. They ate fresh vegetables. They did not get sick like most other workers did. The Chinese built ledges along the mountains for the tracks. They built tunnels through the mountains. They had to use dynamite to make the ground flat so they could lay the rails. It was very dangerous. More than 1,200 Chinese workers died in accidents. The race. Each railroad company worked as fast as it could. They cut through high mountains. They crossed dry deserts. On flatland, they laid 6 to 10 miles of track in a day. But in the mountains, they averaged only 8 inches in a day. Joined at last. After three years, the two railroad companies met in Utah. They hammered a golden spike to join the two tracks at Promontory Summit on May 10, 1869. Together, the companies had built 1,776 miles of railroad. It was one of the greatest engineering feats the United States had ever done. Americans could now travel from New York to San Francisco in seven days by train. The government gave the railroad companies 33 million acres of land alongside the railroad tracks. Big Changes the Transcontinental Railroad brought great changes. People could travel and see the whole country in a few days. Farming and mining companies could send their products across the country cheaply. Books, newspapers, and new ideas traveled from east to west and west to east. Even more people moved to the west. 
The way of life through the American Indians changed forever, too. The new settlers killed the bison that the Indian tribes used for food, clothing, weapons, and other things. Thousands of Indians died fighting for land in the Indian Wars. Most Indians were forced off the plains to live on reservations. For more information about Easy English News, and to subscribe to our digital version or our paper copies, visit our website, easyenglishnews.com.